When it comes to copper in the garden, here's a very simple project. This is probably the simplest thing I've ever done with it. This is a mount for a little sundial. And here's what we have. A galvanized thing that is glued to the bottom of the sundial with any construction adhesive that you want to pick. This happens to be liquid nails, which you can see is made to ooze through the holes in the flange so that it will kind of have a little bit of grip there in case it loses grip elsewhere is regular liquid nails and it's cured on here for quite some time um, maybe two or three days I left it on there before I finished assembly and there you can see that copper piece is usually called a male adapter in this case it is a one half inch male NPT national pipe thread so whenever you hear NPT, that means threaded. And then the other end goes to a naked copper pipe. And this particular copper pipe is larger than one half inch. It is three quarters inch. That's why this adapter goes from one half inch NPT to three quarter inch. You could use half inch instead. This adapter could be half inch NPT to half inch copper pipe and it would be fine for this application. I think I just have, happen to have a lot of three quarter inch pipe. The pipe you select should be uh, as thick as possible so that it will be sturdy, hard, and not bend on you. There are three kinds. of copper pipe. Type M, type L, and type K. M is the thinnest and K is the thickest. And these also come in hard and soft grades. So when you buy your copper pipe for constructing things in the garden, get hard and get the heaviest. Usually though you're going to find only up to type L in the hardware store and type L works fine. There's your parts list. You need a floor flange, you need the male adapter, and you need some pipe. And the tools you're going to need to cut this pipe, either a saw or a pipe cutter. I recommend you just get a pipe cutter when you're down at the plumbing supply assembling all your parts and then it goes into the ground about a foot or however far you want to put it in doesn't matter as long as it doesn't fall over depending on how your ground is there is the adapter NPT to plain copper pipe. There's the floor flange. Notice I didn't get any glue in the way of the pipe to thread on. NPT threads have a natural kind of taper that makes them grip when you screw them together. They're threaded small diameter to big diameter, so they really are designed to scoosh in there. I didn't do any of this with a wrench or anything, just hand tightened is fine in this case. And you point your little gnomon to the North Star, and you're in business.